So today, guys, we're pulling this bad boy out of there. Let's get started. All right, so I'm starting this video off on a really good note. We've got new stuff. Now, these are pistons, obviously, for a 429. Now, let me go over real quick before I dive into this box. And that one, that one's unrelated to this, but that's not important right now. What is important is we got it to the machine shop, which I think has already been over in a video, but we got it over there. They did their thing, and they came back and said I had to be bored. Now, the crank had to be um, undersized, and the pistons have to actually be oversized. So they got away with 30 thousandths over and 10 thousandths under on the crankshaft. So what I did is Rock Auto was the hookup for me because they were the cheapest place I could find. And I got new aluminum direct fit point thirty over. You can read out there it says point thirty over pistons for my 429. And these are supposed to be the right stroke. I put the 1968 Lincoln, which is what, what they came out of. And it comes with nice shiny new wrist pins. So, yeah. Now, what has to happen is I did not get new rods. Um, I'm going to try to use the old rods. And we're going to get some new... Uh, we're going to try to get some new... Oh, I'm sorry. We're going to get these pressed... We're going to get these new pistons pressed on the old rods. Whew. Could not get that out. These right here are rings. Piston rings, a set of them. I'm not going to dig into these too much. These are also 30 over. Um, and here's your crank bearings. And all the bearings for the bottom end right there. Now this over here, this is sway bar links for the 95. It needs them really badly. So I went ahead and got new ones of those. These are mugs, so you know they're going to be good. So that is the future for this channel. So we're getting struck up in the air and this isn't even the side that has the hose clamp on it but this is obviously not the right spring whatever's going on down here i have no idea but this brake cable is stretched again so i don't know exactly what they did but i was looking at these eye beams and look how tiny they are i don't know if they'll be able to support the weight of this motor so we may end up having to put different eye beams under it because even my 95 has bigger dive beams than this. So, what we're about to do is we're about to take the spring out. Because whatever it is, is not right at all. I know that much, so yeah, that's what we're doing. Okay, so I've been messing with this for a while now, and I've got the, the brake line stretched. I'm not super worried about it at the given moment. I'm going to replace those anyway, and they've been being stretched for I don't even know how long. But these little bushings right here are what keep this tight, and I've only got one of them. I've, Whenever I took these new springs, I had new ones of those, and I don't know what I did with them. So if they turn up, they turn up. If not, they don't. But for right now, what I'm going to do is, the reason that they had this, um, they had it actually hose clamped up here, and it's because they clearly, they broke the head off of the bolt. So we're going to have to drill that out, and um, try to either get a bolt nut through there to hold the spring on there, or um, whatever. But I've only got one of these little bushings now, so this is the only set that's tight. But these are the springs that I took out. You can obviously see a 
gigantic difference between these little bitty old things and these nice beefy springs. I mean, and they're also super huge. I don't know what these came out of, but I don't even think that they're car springs. So, I don't even think that they're truck springs. So, I have no idea what those are for. But those are going in the garbage. Um, so, yeah, guys. It, and it looks like that, that bushing had broke before because they had, there's like a little, whenever you pull that nut off, there's like a, there's like a piece. Then there's supposed to be one washer and that's it. There were two washers on this side and none on that side. So, looks like they tried to just make it work with what they had and it didn't work. The cool spring still flopped around. It's nice and tight over here. And once we get it all up in place, it'll be good. But, um, yeah. So, what I think I'm going to do is... I think we're going to go ahead and try to yank this motor out. We've been working on it some today already. We got Lincoln disconnected from the column. The clutch is still in there, but we did get the exhaust manifold taken loose. Going to work on getting the hose, getting the tie wire that's holding it up cut. Get that exhaust out from underneath the truck. What we really spent a majority of the morning doing was getting all this under here. All this wood, these jack stands getting it up off the ground took a majority of the morning so we haven't really got to do a whole lot of actual work today so yeah hopefully we can get this exhaust out pretty quick it looks like somebody put a cherry bomb in here Okay, so we've got everything undone. No more drive shaft, no more exhaust. The um, one thing that we learned is we took these cross member bolts out right here. Took that out. We were trying to get to those, but we actually ended up unbolting it from this one. But that transmission is not even attached to the cross member. I mean, it's just kind of sitting up there. There's two bolts that are like right here ish. They're like right here near this edge. But they're not holding in that mount. I can just pick up the mount with the pry bar and move it. So basically what we're gonna do tomorrow is we're gonna get this pry bar, we're gonna we're gonna pry this crossman out of the way. Then we can take off these mounts right here because they're kinda hitting the body right there, so that kinda makes it a pain. But yeah that is the dealio what we figure happened is we figure this thing originally had a borg warner four four speed in it which is what uh explains the giant hole in the floorboard and somebody changed it out to this and they didn't change anything else but if i can get this shot in there okay as you can see there are some like like gapped holes there I think that those will work really good with the C6 and I almost think that this is a Lincoln mount or something I don't know but I think that's gonna work out perfectly with the um with the mount that we have so that is the plan on that so now that everyone is caught up, I know I'm saying so a lot because I'm underneath the truck and yeah. With everyone caught up, we've got our cool springs still bolted in. After we get them bolted in, the suspension will be temporarily done until we can redo it for real. Got everything undone up here. Exhaust is out of it. Uh, starter's undone. Everything is ready. Everything is undone and ready to go. So yeah. 
tomorrow, guys, we're taking this motor out of this truck. And I couldn't be happier. All of our clutch linkage is gone. So, yes, I'm super, I'm super stoked for it. The only reason it didn't come out today is because Victor had other things to do, and he really wanted to do it with us. So we were waiting on him. So tomorrow, tomorrow, guys, tomorrow. Okay, so I went this morning and got this. This is a bolt-out kit. We got to take out that little bugger right there. So I got a drill and a punch. Um, hopefully, can use this punch, pop a hole in that, and use these extractors to get the bolt out. If not, we'll end up just drilling it out. But yeah, that's the current plan. After we're done with that, well, probably not after, but this engine's ready to come out, like I said uh, yesterday. Motor mount bolts are out. Only thing we need to do is get us a um, chain on here, and we will be ready to go. Look, guys, Mr. Rabbit's here. How about you, Mr. Rabbit? Okay, anyways, guys, so we got the motor out. And as you can see, uh, I took all this stuff off for not really any particular reason. I just kind of felt like doing it. So, yeah, it's pretty exciting to be honest. Motor's out. Um, I say a lot of ohms, don't I? You know how many times I cut those out? There's what we got left. We're gonna have to figure out how the 429 is gonna mount in here. Um, I'm hoping that we don't have to change this any. I don't think we will. Hopefully. I'm really hoping we don't have to, because that's gonna be kind of a pain in the ass. But 
I don't, I, I don't think we will. Um, I didn't exactly know how to take motor mounts out. My dad showed me on this one, but we can't get this one out. We we'll just shut up! So we ended up just pulling the block out like it was. It ended up coming pretty easy. But under there, you can see what I was talking about with the cross member uh, earlier in the video. Where the um, we couldn't get it unbolted from the top. But now we can. So, But that probably won't be happening for you guys to see. That'll probably be happening off, off camera. A lot's going to be happening off camera. I'm just going to level with you guys. But... We discovered some bad stuff here. We discovered that this body mount wouldn't even come loose. Um, this one actually did come loose. And should actually come out because. But anyway, this one came loose. So there's that. This came loose. This one, on the other hand, did not want to come loose. It ended up having to cut it from this. Which has got the headlight, the horn, and all that in it. You can actually see right there. It's like completely rusted out. All in there. Over there is not great either. So, probably going to end up trying to find a new one of these. Uh, doesn't have to be 81 era. Luckily, these are the same. The only real difference is the hood. And the hood has got all four letters in it. And the hood's not in bad shape. That's the main thing I was worried about. Because these 81 hoods are really hard to come by. So... I'm happy that the hood's in good shape at least. We can save most of the 80s era stuff. This is obviously, like I said, not the factory grill. If it was, I would have taken much better care of it. But probably just gonna throw that thing in the trash or try to sell it. Um, gearbox. So I was genuinely surprised to see whenever I took the inspection cover off of this um, three on the tree, the quality that all these teeth are in. These things are in really good shape. I mean, this looks like this transmission was, like, recently put in there before the truck sat, possibly. Because, I mean, all these gears look like they're brand new. I mean, there's no, I mean, they look really fracking good. Especially for the age of this vehicle. Regardless of all that, the bed I've been looking at a little bit. As far as rust goes, a lot of this metal back here is pretty good. Um, a lot of our metal is pretty good. Not in the best shape, obviously. This, my dad said he actually screwed this up whenever they originally tried to tow it. Uh, they hooked it there, not knowing it was going to twist like that. So we'll have to get a new one of those. I don't even know if that's required. May not even. One thing that I did notice, this right here is broken. Right there. Um, doesn't look major, though. The frame doesn't look twisted or anything. The frame is actually in pretty good shape overall. So, shouldn't be a lot of problems there. This stuff is going to be going away. There's a lot that I'll probably do here. Um, I'm going to try to get brakes on this thing because we still haven't done that. But now that I can access all the brake lines, check see, check and see if there's any leaks, you know, and whatnot. I'm a lot more open to actually doing brakes now. Um, one thing I definitely want to do first is want to try to get my new coil springs on. Still haven't got bushings for that. Probably not going to fuck with a bushing. Right now, I'm probably just going to slap the cool spring on and uh, worry about a bushing, whatever, because this body's going to have to come off the cab anyway, and I'm going to be getting new shocks and all that stuff. All right, guys, so that's going to do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you're enjoying the series as much as I am. Um, I hope you guys subscribe to the channel and like the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. I can't stop the video.